welcome to this exclusive we have here today. It is indeed the UK Amaz. I'm joined with the delightful Nithin. How are you? Delightful Nithin. I do like that. I'm 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 good today. The vibe here in Wembley Arena is absolutely awesome. Yeah. And it's the 10th annual. It's the 10th annual it UK is Amaz. Indeed. We have a special. We've got some incredible celebrities that are indeed going to be having interviews with us on Be For You. We've got some performances lined up for you, and we've got some special little teasers for you coming up as well. But Nithin and I are going to be having some fun and games with you along the way. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Stay right here with us. Oh, before they go though. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd start the show a little bit differently today. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've covered the Amers before. We, yeah. we, I, th I think we should have like a little competition this year. Bring it on. Bring it on. I like the way <laughs> she did that. How about we have a little competition to see who can predict the most winners for tonight? So let's, As let's, you know, girls rule, yeah? Yeah, I, I don't really know that, but mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see okay. at the end of the night. How about your pick for best male? Jay, Jay Sean. Sean. <laughs> you can't pick Jay. I pick Jay. I pick Jay. Come on. All right, we'll, we'll let us have the same on this one. Okay. No more picking the same. Okay, fine, done. Best female. Ooh, I'm gonna go with Tasha Tar. I was gonna pick Tasha. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with Priya Kalidas. Ooh, it's a good choice. Good choice, good choice, good choice. Good choice. How about mm -hmm. best newcomer? I'm really stuck with this one, I'm not gonna lie. I really love Jet Nay Kaden, but I also really like Kanika Popovoa as well. I'm gonna go with Kanika Kapoor. Go on. I'm going with Shred Boss. Okay. Ooh. He's a boss. Okay, I like good that. I like then. that. Mm -hmm. Best album. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go with Punjabi Hit Squad. Punjabi Hit Squad. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit of a contrast there. I'm gonna go PBN. Ooh. PBN. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay then. Well, make sure you stay with us because Ooh. we are. Mm. We forgot the most important one. And. B, it be for you music. We play music videos all day long. Sorry, how could I possibly forget? Best music video. Please, Jay Sean. You can't pick Jay for everything. I love Jay Sean. Everyone knows him. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Maya. M I A. That's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, ladies, if you have money riding on me, be prepared to win. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what? Enough of this. Let's go get to the backstage interviews. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Honored to be standing with guys who I actually consider a legend oh, wow, when it comes statement. to the music industry. I'm standing with RGB. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you very much. That was way too huge as a statement. Guys, I, you guys are what I grew up listening to. I have to, be, which makes me sound really old, and you I guys even older. Sound old, I think. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're really young because we've only been doing it for a couple of years. Anyway. That's all right then. Good. But anyway, RGB, welcome to the show. How are you finding the tenth UK Amers? Lovely, absolutely beautiful. I mean, we've just literally walked in, so so, so far it's been really good. Yeah? yeah? Are you looking forward to the night? What's going to be your highlight of tonight? Uh, just watching all the performances. We're here to just kind of just chill and enjoy the show and eat food. <laughs> well, as you're supporting the Sing movement, as I see here. This is, this is actually Cully, our older brother's, his own design, so we're representing... Beautiful, beautiful, as you can see. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, guys. And tell me, what have we got to look forward to from you guys in the future? Because you guys have smashed not only the UK Asian scene, not only Bollywood, but... Absolutely every single industry is fully aware of who RDB are and what you guys stand for. So what have we got to see from you guys now? Uh, we've got a lot of things. We've got uh, our own, obviously, a new single coming out, which Serge will tell you about, and as well as Bollywood songs. We're now going as music directors. Ooh. We've got Nindy's album coming out. She's got some singles. Uh, where is Nindy, by the way? Yeah, she's with her son right now. She's oh, with she's doing... our son. No, she's saying. doing her motherly duties tonight, yeah, she, then. Well, she goes, you know what, I'd rather just spend a whole bunch of hours with my son and just watch TV all night. So I'll say, okay. Oh, fair enough. So tell me, what have you got to look forward to? Well, this single is basically, it's a collaboration of all the different artists put together, and it's not featuring in terms of musically, but the music video that we put together, we literally, because in support of Kuli, our recent uh, loss, everybody's been really supportive and kind of said, well, whatever you guys need. And we said, well, let's bring the industry together. So we've literally called, you know, I don't even start mentioning names because I'll be here all night no, mentioning no, let's names. Go, let's go, name no, names. Uh, okay, well, Every artist you can think of. Yeah, you, there, there's a whole heap of them. So. Yeah, impressive. there's going to be a massive uh, launch of it very, very soon. So um, we'll look out for that video. It's going to be big and it's all big. Fantastic. On behalf of all of our B4U viewers, we want to offer our condolences about Cooley. And God be willing, we're going to see you guys very, very soon. Oh, yeah. I'm thrilled to be standing with a huge, huge, huge TV idol of mine, Nitin Ganatra, also known as Mass from EastEnders. Welcome to B4U. Oh, thank you very much. How are you finding the UK Amers tonight? Uh, it sounds exciting. There's a lot of buzz about it. I haven't actually gone in yet, so I'm going to go check it out. We did manage to grab you as soon as you literally walked through. I, know, I just walked in and, and I've been grabbed <laughs> by a woman. Not a bad you can't day. complain, can you? Not a bad day. <laughs> so tell me, who's your highlight? Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? 
Uh, I think the big concert at the end of the concert is going to be the one for me. That's why I'm here, really. It's all about Raha, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a bit... You know, I saw his dad live. Did you? I missed it. I was alone in a field. No way. Yeah, I was at, um, uh, it was at some uh, folk concert. Really? No, nobody was watching. I was sitting there on my own watching. I had my own personal concert. Wow, I am so, so, so jealous. But tell me, do you have any predictions? Do you think you know who's going to win Best Male and Best Newcomer? And I whatever don't to... know, but I'm, I'm, I'm presenting the album, Best Album Award. And got any clues as to who it's going to be? Don't, I don't know who's nominated at the moment because I haven't got in yet. But <laughs> I personally am a big fan of Neeraj Chug. Ooh. Yeah, Neeraj, uh, yeah, I think he's a rising star. Nevi Neve! Hey! Nevi Neve! How are ya? What's this? I don't know. It literally just like appeared. Um, I won it. I'm shocked. I actually won this. I didn't steal it. I didn't pay anyone. I actually won it. It's the best radio show, dude. Best radio show? And, and, and how long have you been on radio? Over 10 years. So this, it's kind of like it's it was meant deal. to be. It's the 10 year anniversary of the yeah. Amers. I'm, I'm so, so happy. I started on Sunrise, you know, years ago. I went to Asian Star, West Side, BBC Asian Network. Every Asian station, I worked there at one point. So. People, people at home might not actually know this, right? I'm Indian. One, that, you know, Neve is Indian, but they could be listening to you every day and they don't know who you are. No. Neve, Kiss 100, lunchtime. Face? Don't forget this little face. I've got a tiny little button nose and, you know, don't forget the face. Oh, and today you look like a princess. A princess? She, do. she looks like a princess, doesn't she? Have you seen my shoes? Can we we need to get a shoes? shot of the shoes. We'll them. If, they, if they could talk, what would they say? I'm so happy! They're happy because she's won. Best radio... Okay. because they've got a mention on the main stage at the Amers. That's why they're happy. I'm honoured to be standing with a lady who's not only been rated highly in the charts, but she's also been rated by, by Shah Rukh Khan as well. Kanika Kapoor, welcome. And also one half of Zeus, Dr. Zeus, my apologies. Welcome to the show. How are you both tonight? Very well, thank you. We're having a great time. Your performance was outstanding. How are you feeling being part of the 10th UK AMA? Feeling good, feeling good. The performance went good. Well, you should feel even better with this beautiful piece that you're going to be taking home tonight. Well, yeah, well, I'll be bringing it home to pass on to Zeus, you know, as best producer. <laughs> of but yeah, yeah, part of the movement, so a pleasure to collect it on his behalf. Oh, well, it's a wonderful pleasure to have you. Garnico, your track has literally moved mountains. Everyone is singing Jukaniji. It's a huge hype here in the UK. What have we got to see from you in the future now? Well, a, a whole album um, produced by Zeus, we're well, the best producer ever. <laughs> And uh, I'm very excited about, um, it's coming out soon. Uh, we're just working on what to get out first. <laughs> We've got so much going on, um, but a lot coming out soon. There's and a lot of exciting stuff happening. Uh, a bit of Bollywood, a bit of Hollywood. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Delighted to be standing with Ash King. Ash, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good, and I'm delighted to be standing here with Natasha on B for you. Fantastic. So, um, yeah. How are you finding the tent at UK Amers? Um, it's my first time here. Mm -hmm. um, it's my first time performing here. First time performing in Wembley. Yeah. I just came from uh, Bombay just to be here for this, and um, I thought it was amazing. The sound was amazing. The dancers were amazing. Uh, even though I kind of messed up with them and I forgot to tell them I was doing Love is Blind. But that's what I do. I always drop things in. I'm very spontaneous. And uh, I don't we know. We like spontaneity. Can you say that word properly, please? Spontaneity. Okay, that's right. I said it right the first time. <laughs> Guys, you're going to have to rewind or go on YouTube and look at this interview <laughs> and see if she said it properly. Okay, fabulous. So what have we got to look forward to from you in the future now? Uh, my new song's just released called Chup Chup Ke from uh, the film Rush for Imran Hashmi. Uh, I sang something in Oh My God, uh, which is a really good film. Go out and watch it. And uh, you can hear me singing my normal songs. Uh, I've got a single, me and Alan Sampson are working on something. Actually, it's nearly finished. Guys, now I'm joined now by Aminjot Sangha, who, who, if, if you guys don't remember, at the, at the press launch, you actually won the Nokia Unsigned Artist sort of competition there. Yeah. How's life been since that? It's been quite hectic. I mean, I've been working on um, a single called Bjarka, so. 
and um, so I just performed that on uh, at Wembley Arena for the Amers, and it's just amazing. Let's, let's just take let's just take a moment there. Yeah. You just performed from not being signed, not being you know anything like that, at Wembley Arena. I know. A single that you perform, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, it feels like a dream, literally, and. Um, I'm just so thankful for you know the whole uh, Labara Nokia team for um, letting me be here today. This is awesome because, as we all know, Asian Music Awards has been going for ten years now, and 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 a lot of people, a lot of good artists, haven't managed to get them because it's so hard to get your hands on an Amar. Yet you have one in your hands. You must feel awesome for that as well. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to do it? Definitely keep it in my um, collection of trophies. Um, but, you know, it feels amazing, I mean, winning an AMA not for Nokia Unsigned. Um, I wasn't expecting an award, but here it is. I am absolutely delighted to be standing with the boys from Punjabi Hit Squad. Well, I know, guys. And can I just say, I'm going to make you very, very happy. My co-presenter and I have been placing bets on the winners tonight. Okay. Guess who put money on you two? You do. I do. We're so proud that we've actually got this award and we're so happy, you know. Um, we've literally just received this, so we kind of it's all sinking in at the moment. I'm pretty sure later on during the night it'll, it'll kind of start hitting us better. But you know, it's great because over the, so many years we've been DJing in clubs, we've been rocking stages and everything. And to be kind of over the last year, because we released our album, we've been touring all over the world, uh, even the UK as well. You know, to be finally recognised is a, a great feeling. You know, this is one award that we've never actually won until today. So. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So tell me, as I've heard, you've been travelling around the place, you've been doing so much, the album's come out, yep. you guys have got an incredible amount of radio play, airplay, TV yeah. play, you name it, you've been played. Yep. We but are. the fact is, what have we... We're um, players in a different way, though. Of, yeah, of course. Let's keep it clean, people. <laughs> but, but what have we got to see What have we got to see from you guys now? Oh, obviously, you've, so you've, you've, conquered, up, you've like, conquered the Amers. What else have you got coming oh, up? We've got the album. Like, obviously, we're still promoting the album. We've got a video coming out to one of our Punjabi sings called, uh, songs called P Fulgari. Oh, That's right. it, Punjabi sings. <laughs> it's all right. It's all Punjabi good. Punjabi songs called Fulgari. Oh. Also, uh, we've got another video coming out with... Uh, a song called Shake It, which we recorded with Seni Surinda. We're looking forward to that. We've got a new album coming out with Alicia. Wow. So there's so much coming, but we're really focused on our album right now, World Famous, because we put so much energy into it and the song's still growing. <laughs> Right, guys, we are on the blue carpet. We are indeed. Because it's Labara Mobile's of UK course. Asian Music Awards. Now, you know, things are just things are just kicking up. I saw some fireworks in there. Mm -hmm. Tommy Sandy was rocking the stage. Oh, yeah. We haven't really got to see any of our predictions yet, but... Uh, but we will very, very soon. We will. So don't go anywhere. Stay right here with us on b for You Music. We'll be right back here after the break. enjoyed the ad break. Nitin seems to have gone walkies. We're having an incredible time here at the 10th UK Amherst here in Wembley. Where did you go? I was mingling with the stars on the blue carpet. Do you want to get back down to earth here on the blue carpet with our viewers? I'm sorry, it's just that you guys are all I just can't prove that. Yeah. I think Nitin's getting a little bit carried away, everyone, but we have an incredible second half lined up for you guys. So, uh, let's don't go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> from RDB who are indeed the winners of an AMA award. Congratulations. Amazingly, amazingly, thank you very much, yes. How do you feel, guys? It's a bit shocking, to be honest. A bit weird because... Why? I wasn't expecting it, to be perfectly fair. We just... Uh, because... You, you, good nominations, our, you know? Our style of music is kind of like a little bit this even urban and blah, blah, blah. And I win... listen to your type of music. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. And this, he does, <laughs> so, mean, exactly. this he does mean everything, really, doesn't it? So, yeah, we're really, we're, we're really happy. Oh, congratulations, guys. All the best for the future. And we can't wait to see what you've got coming up for us. Thank, thank you. you. Guys, backstage at the UK Amherst, I'm joined now by, it's not Michael Jackson, it's Shied Boss. I like this jacket though, it's very Michael Jackson-esque. The, the blue swag, yeah, yeah. The blue swag, I like that. And, and, and of course your producer Marcus here. I'll, I'll start here with you. I, I, I can't help but start with something that's in your hand right now. Best newcomer. Let's, I mean, let's just focus on that for a second. Last year, I remember interviewing you. Um, you, you know, you were what was it? The T4 unsigned. Uh, yeah, you yeah, won, I won that? best unsigned for 2010 on T4 um, and featured in. A, and you were Oaks. Yeah, yeah. I was in an episode of Holly Oaks, and then got picked up by Sony ATV. They wanted to publish my stuff, and then got assigned to Common Entertainment. 
And then, yeah, just, just released my EP, had like a couple of songs off there just to get a taste of, see what the scene's saying. And then now, it's about time now, it's been just over a year. Um, I'm releasing my first official single, which is with the one and only Dr. Zeus, who has had crazy success internationally. And that's called Kongana, be out very soon. So yeah, I'm, I'm just honored to be here winning best newcomer. Like what more could I ask for? Tell me, tell me how you're feeling seeing sort of this you know, occur. Seeing him on stage, it's, it just makes all the hard work, you know, worth it. And it's just good seeing it all come to fruition, you know? I'm gonna all come together, obviously, performance and then winning the award. It's a good evening, man. Kalidas! Yes! Kalidas! Okay, we're backstage, UK Amers 2012, and, and, and you've got this lovely piece of award in your hand which says that once again you are the best female artist of the year, two years running now. How does that make you feel? Do you know, I would never ever have believed it if anyone told me that would have happened. So I'm so grateful to all my supporters and my fans for voting for me because music is such a huge part of my life and it has been since I was a kid. And I love making music. I want to make more music and I want my fans to, to hear more stuff. And um, and the more you keep supporting, the more I'll be able to do that. So Well, they certainly love it two years in a row. That, that's quite an achievement. Okay, like I said to you, I'm going to bring you some mayhem here from the blue carpet at the UK Amherst, and I'm delighted to be standing with the man who makes many women's amplifier blow off the hook. It's Imran Khan. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's been a while, you know. I've been busy in the studio with Erin. I was going to introduce Erin. Erin is your producer. Welcome as well. How are you finding tonight's Amherst? I totally love it. It's uh, new stuff for me. Or the Asian market is totally different for me, and I really like it. It's, yeah. it's wonderful, yeah. What's been your highlight of the night? Um, yeah, you know what? I don't know the names, to be honest. <laughs> I'm Turkish, you know? I, I like your honesty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, always helping me, you know? Yeah. Uh, who's this, who's this, who's this? So who's been your highlight of the night, then? I, I think uh, Raad Fatilika. He's everyone's highlight, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the legend. So Imran, what have we got to see from you now? My brand new single coming very soon. Name? Produced by Aaron E. Yeah. And the name? I cannot tell you the name. Oh, no, come on, you have to give me an exclusive. Well, you need to... Uh, Follow my Twitter. Hi, hi, we're on Twitter. Torasa, yeah, yeah. now we need a bit of an exclusive, my viewers at home. Torasa, please. This next single, yeah, is gonna be out of space. I uh, promise you that. I'm thrilled to be standing with Paul Chowdhury, a man who needs no introduction. International comedian, welcome to the show. Good to see you. Uh, it's an honor to be here with the head of be for you I'm standing next to the governor here. Excuse me, I was waiting to give my own boss a fantastic intro here. Why? You stole my thunder. <laughs> yes, I am indeed standing next to the head of be for you Sunil. Welcome to the show. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Um, it's been a very good event. Um, we've been associated with this event right from the beginning since 2002 and we continue to support the UK AMA Awards and it's been a fantastic event. What's been your highlight of tonight, Paul? It, the highlight has been um, when I was on stage with uncle here and uh, uncle, the big man yeah obviously you have to call him uncle he's your elder you know it's an Indian thing Asian people everyone's your uncle even if they're not related to you so uh, we gave out best music video I presented this award a few years ago then I gave Jay Sean best album and then we gave MIA best video but unfortunately she wasn't here to accept the award because she was you know running a petrol station Sri Lankan thing <laughs> so we spoke about that and uh, Labara obviously the sponsors uh, if it wasn't for Labara we wouldn't have li illegal immigration in this country so we were talking about that. <laughs> 10,000 minute, 50p. 7 million minute, 25p. It's, you could actually go back to Bangladesh in a matter of time. Do you want us to come back here next year? Well, yeah, but you know, we can talk about them as well. Oh, we'll talk about all the sponsors. <laughs> Fantastic. So what are you looking forward to the most? Are you hoping to see Rahat in action uh, soon? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's everyone's highlight of tonight. What song are you hoping that he'll sing for us tonight? I'm looking forward to his, um, his beatbox, his He's very, uh, he's a secret talent he's got. He's a secret rapper in, in Punjabi, which is something that, you know, you've really got to see. So you truly say mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Blast, mind blast. It blows your mind, bastard. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. So, Sunil, where, where do you see the Amas going in the next 10 years? Um, I think it's going to go from strength to strength and it's going to be one of the uh, main events that recognizes the UK talent. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go from strength to strength, and we're going to be in bigger and stronger forces of next year. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks. Take care.
thrilled to be standing with Amit Chana, a man who many of you may remember from uh, EastEnders as well as the BBC Asian Network. As well as the BBC Asian Network, yes. yes. <laughs> and also we have Kat here, one of our main sponsors. How are you tonight? Very well, delighted to be here. Thank you so much for coming on the show. How have you found the 10th UK Amers? It's been phenomenal. I, as I was saying downstairs on the stage just now, I think it's, it's such an achievement in 10 years to be at Wembley Arena uh, for the Amers. The boys and the team at the Amers have achieved so much just in 10 years. And I keep saying it, it's the first proper official British Asian event to step foot inside the Wembley Arena. We've had Bollywood concerts, we've had Pakistani singers and Indian singers and all that but representing our diaspora for the first time at Wembley Arena, so a huge achievement. Agreed, fantastic. And what's been your highlight of the night, Cap? I think, you know, the fact that uh, we presented together this uh, Desi Act, Best Desi Act, uh, we're fairly new business ourselves, and what we're focused on is bringing the best artists and best music to as many people as possible. And to see so much talent gathered under the same roof tonight, it's just been a phenomenal experience. Oh, wonderful. It's so great to hear that you guys are having a good time. I'm truly proud to be standing with two men who deserve full credit for tonight's Amers. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. I'd like to welcome, first of all, Abs, the gentleman who's the founder of the Amers. Thank you very much. And also Ritesh, the gentleman who's co-founded Labara and a huge sponsor of tonight. How have you found the 10th anniversary of the UK Amers? I'm extremely proud. I'm extremely proud of UK Amers. And most importantly, I'm extremely proud of Abs and the team. Like he said on the stage, who would have thought that Amaz would, you know, would be in Wembley Arena in 10 years' time? That's exactly what has happened tonight, and all the credit goes to the guys. Yeah, it was a team effort, you know. It wasn't just Labara Mobile wasn't just a sponsor, you know. When we when we sat down on the table and decided to go Wembley Arena, you know, we said, you know, Ritisha, you know, it's not just a sponsorship. I'll get you a team of people behind, and you know, this is why this is why we achieved that dream. You know, if it wasn't for Labara, we would not be here now. You know, I really say that and I mean that. And as an industry, we've got a massive thank you to say to Labara. Gentlemen, I want one last question for you guys, because I know you're men demand tonight. Where is the Amers going next? I think that's a question for abs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that was gone over to We started off this year saying think big. Uh -huh. So it will be a shame to lose that same thought. Okay, can I just say, I've been speaking to a lot of the artists today and we've come up with the Shard Building, we've come up with the Burj in Dubai, we've come up with Sydney, uh, Sydney, uh, Sydney uh, Theatre House as well, Opera yeah. House, my apologies, in, in Australia. We've come up with a lot of locations, so what next? Hmm. Well, interesting. <laughs> Why can't it be India? For a Taj Mahal, yeah, we could try it. Exactly. Yeah, we try that one. <laughs> I'd like but to go to Taj Mahal, I, I, I've never I, been. I, I really want to say this, I want the Amers to go truly global. And that's my wish, and I hope that will be the vision for the Emma guys for the next 10 years. Fantastic. Well, it's certainly going to be a wish from B for you as well, and we Thank hope you, you get bigger and better over the years. Thank you for supporting us for four or five years now. Absolute pleasure. Lovely yeah. to meet you. Thank you so much. And have a great night. Take care. So, Natasha, we're at the end of the UK Amers 2012. The blue carpet, as it is yeah. now, mm -hmm. you know, known as the Amers, it's empty now. Now, now, now it's time to recap on the night. It's been an amazing night. I have to say, Rahat Fateli Khan stole not only the show, but my heart too. Really? Really did. He's such a good, decent person with an amazing voice. Well, you're going to have to fight the all the girls at home. Stole the show. Uh, Rahat Fateli Khan, you've got a big, big fan here. I can't, I can't disagree with you there. But let's let's recap on some of the things because we had a little bit of a we had a little bit of a competition going earlier. Mm -hmm. Now we said best male. We both said Jay Sean. We did. Jay Sean won. Ta-da! But best... I said it first, so that was my point. It doesn't work that way. It does. It doesn't. We both get a point there. Best female. Mm -hmm. You said Tasha Tar. I did. But it was my pick, Priya Kalidas. Well, there you go. One one. Two one. Did she do maths? One one. Best video. Mm -hmm. You said Jay Sean. Yes. But it was MIA. Really? My Ooh. pick. Okay, fair dues. So 3-1. Mm -hmm. And best album. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Jay Sean was mine. Yeah. Don't complicate things. <laughs> he didn't win. Where's the best album? Who won that? You tell me. You've got the list. It was your, your, you won that, so I thought you'd want to say it. Oh, Punjabi Hit Squad. Punjabi Hit Squad, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to catch her out there. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's 3-2. How about best newcomer? Who won that? Shy Boss. And who tried bosses? Who picked tried boss? I did go with Janae Caden. So 4-2! I win, and that officially proves, as for some reason you turned it into girls versus boys, mm -hmm. that boys rule and girls clearly, I don't know, like drool. 
Yeah, I think I'll just let you win this one. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let that go. But you know what? I've, I've, had, I've had fun. So I that's the main to. thing. I have to. And these Amers certainly have been memorable, not just for the fact that it's been the 10th anniversary of the UK Amers, and they've been in Wembley, but for the fact that we've met with so many familiar faces who you guys see on a day-to-day -day basis on b for You Music. And make sure you follow us on at the official b for You Twitter as well, where you can find out a lot more about what we're going to be getting up to in the forthcoming months. That's it. Awesome stuff. I think uh, I think I think that about covers it. Mm -hmm. So there's an after party for us to go to, isn't there? That's it. So we're off to the after party, guys. Thank you so much for being with us.